that fight was a minute and 39 seconds and it was spent, we spent most of the fight in control, with me in control. <laughs> Social media sensation. Yeah, you. Oh, it's weird how sometimes shit gets reposted on the internet. See that? Coach, that was months ago. You already know I'm done with that. Yeah, yeah I know. Look who posted. Yeah. So what you think, kid? Huh? I mean, Coach, this place is amazing. We are checking out the show. Hey, so glad you could make it. Thank you. Pass up this up. They start with six bullets. Go kind of crazy, and you simply reload by doing nothing and not shooting whatsoever, right? 1.20 speed, so they are actually really fast. Kane-like speed, average tier rate, but way higher damage, which is, you know, that's fair. I, I imagine a gun would do more damage. If I shot someone in the face, I would think that that would do more damage than me crying on them. Now, sorry, this <laughs> is like. like these custom-made 30 plus, so I'm really excited. I want to see if we can find some of these, and if I'm unable to find as many as I want, of course, you know, we just go post-edit mode. We'll give ourselves the items and we'll see what's going on. What is this pill? Anything good? I'm excited. We are now entering fast mode. So the character reloads naturally by themselves. When you hit zero bullets, it's actually faster to make sure that you just don't do anything and reload like that. Because as you can see, if I'm holding down the button, the uh, the APM gets kind of slow, you know what I mean? So you might as well just fully reload and go crazy again. If it rock, we get a soul heart. That's nice. They only start with one red heart and a couple soul hearts, so uh, help does seem to be their main issue. One final thing, they have a pocket active called Quick Draw. It's kind of an install. When you press it, you do a little, I don't know, burst. <laughs> you take out your gun, right? And you make a little poofy as if you're, like, gathering energy like an anime character. And when you're in this state, you just shoot your gun really fast. And you can see the bullets are even bigger. That's because they are doing more damage. They also have damage fall off, which is really cool mechanic because I've never heard of that for Isaac. The only time we've ever seen something like that before is... Uh, Kind of the opposite, you know, with like lump of coal, right? Whereas, you know, the more range you have, the more damage you do. This is the opposite. So if I shoot, you can see that little trail there. It turns a bit darker with a little blue. And when that happens, that means that your bullets are doing less damage. So you do really want to get up close, and that's the reason. Kickboxer? Ooh, and he's a three and a half star kickboxer. This should be a difficult We beat Minecraft's weird mods. Ooh, sex mod. Please clap. Please clap. Oh, boo, they got Jack Manifold. <gasps> Wait, stay flat. Quest completed, Obama.
Check your task manager. That's right. You're mining Bitcoin now. Okay. Tree. Tree. I see tree. Did you just take fall damage? That's from my gravity mod. Did you just break wood? That's from my tree log breaking mod. Johnny, why is there just a lucky block over there? Hey, Tom. You feel lucky. Oh, so clean. Tell me when you've got enough wood and you're ready for uh, for your next test. Uh, you me, need to make a little sword and a pickaxe. Oh, you won't need that where you're going. What? You're going to war. <laughs> Power morpher. I don't want a morpher. I just need to do the next step. I need to get the iron and I need to find the rock. This is just one of my. Okay, I'm off. I'm off. <laughs> snaps all right all right champ all right we had a great training camp you couldn't be more ready for this fight okay? just remember everything that we've been working on watch your stamina offense and defense read your opponent okay and stay cool when the shit gets hot hey and she said it Sorry to interrupt you guys, just wanted to wish you both good luck. Hope everything went well at the end. It was incredible, honestly. Thank you so much. Yes, indeed. And we hope to come back again sometime. Of course, but win your fight first, okay? Good luck. <laughs> I was just about to tell you. All right. How you feeling? You ready to put on a... Enjoy the moment. Uh oh, looks like somebody's got some paperwork for you. Oh my god. Yeah, yeah. Hold on, just give me a second. I'm mining the ore of news. Oh, Bobby, I'm the Are you seeing this? 
this eerie glowing oh no no I'm gonna make eyes. Nice. I don't want to just do the new video, I just have pop it. Cash you earn 2% cash back on what you want. Like first date plans. And me. No, no, no. Just my shoes. Like maybe shoes without laces. The Wells Fargo Active Cash Card. That's real life money. You were made to be rechargeable. We were made to combine flights and hotels for less. I'm sure she's back because hell flows over. Best, your best, let's go. Hold on, 
All right, now our tail of the tape for this phantom weight scrap. Okay, I not control my body. I am conscious. All right, now for the official introductions. We go inside the octagon to Bruce Buffer. He gave me banana. All right, so here we go with round one. This is his UFC debut, so you know what he did on the regional circuit. Ran rough shots for a lot of the guys in his division. Now the question beckons. Will his game translate to the big show? No denying he deserves to be here. We'll see how it goes here in his first UFC start. And you learn a lot about these prospects when they're put in positions that they're not normally put in uh, inside of the octagon. You can do them in practice, but there's a big difference when you experience it inside oh. the UFC. All right, early round one, we'll see if he can use that jab and try to keep his opponent on the outside. Must be nice for these long fighters, huh? I mean, they are able to touch you as you try to enter into range. Come on, come on now. Oh, looks like he's got the submission locked in. He's in real trouble. Oh, he escapes. He got out. He, wow, that is great submission defense. Great submission defense on this play tonight. Two minutes have ripped off the round one clock. Oh, and he locks up a triangle now. You set off the top. His go-to submission looks pretty tight to me. Oh, and if he's got you in there, then you know that you're in a lot of trouble. He's starting to shift the arm across. If he gets it across, he's going to start pulling down on the heads. Really getting screwed. Oh, wait, he got out. Unbelievable that he was able to survive that triangle attempt. He took slight movements, got off to the right side, got his arm free, and found safety. That was tremendous defense. It's tight. It's over. It's over. Look at him bucking bridge, straighten that arm, get back into the direction that he was straightening the arm to get back to his knees. Great job. There it is. Now he's running up. We'll see what he does here. He postures up and lands to the head. Oh, nice. All right, he's got side control here, DC. Looks like he's trying to isolate an arm here, DC. Yeah, he's isolating it to try to get a Kimura. Notice he'll step over the head to try to get the Kimura. This could be the end of the fight. He gets out, though. Wow! Yeah, he did a great job of straightening his arm. And then when his arm straightened, he followed the momentum board in that direction to free himself from that Kimura attempt. Well, that was a high-level extended battle on the ground. Now, though, the athletes back to their feet. And no surprise, the crowd responds in time. The crowd just loves whenever they get two high-level strikers going at it. It was very hard to get back up after getting taken. Oh, he's attacking choke now. Oh, he's got it locked in. He's got that arm triangle deep. It looks like the arm triangle is getting very low. Oh, and there's the horn at the end of the round. How about this fight, folks? You see, he was nearly caught in a submission there right at the end of the round, saved by the bell. So back to the stool, mentally probably not in a great place here. We'll see if he can recover and get himself back into this fight. All right, so there's the end of the round. It had a little bit of everything and nearly a finish due to a submission. But you see, when you're on the ground with him, you're in danger. Yeah. You're constantly under attack. There is no place to rest. Not Goombas. Where you can rest Goombas. with those guys, you got to be very aware. Ready. 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 Here we are, early round two. Oh, nice inside kick. Great block there. Oh, and a cut has just opened up on his forehead. We'll keep an eye on it. Trading huge shots. Let's see who's going to be the last man standing. Right on the button. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. Beautiful work with the knees in the clinch. And now some knees. Now some spacing as they exit the clinch. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Double leg legs. Well, he's worked very well. He's setting up for a submission now. Ooh, that looks pretty tight. This has got to be the end of the fight. Go. 
You good, Dan? Oh, you did stop breathing. Waited for an opening, and then when it was there, he certainly capitalized to get the tap here tonight. All right, let's take a look back at the replay as he gets it done by submission tonight, champ. He does a great job of staying patient. He doesn't rush or panic. You are never safe when you're fighting this guy. You're in a lot of trouble. You're in a lot of trouble the entire time when you're this good in the submission. Bruce Buffer now with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at one minute, 51 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by tap out, Assassin! All right, so the celebration is on, and rightfully so, as he makes good on the UFC debut here tonight. Likely plenty more where that came from, but tonight, the celebration is on.
voice failure. No, they killed Walling Walling.
fourth point. I did it. Press the A button. Our tale of the tape for this bantamweight fight. And now to get us started, here is Bruce. You ready to fight? Surprise of some, he won his last fight by submission. So with momentum, he enters this, the highest profile spot of his career, trying to keep that obvious momentum going. Can he realize a UFC title shot by the end of the year? That remains to be seen. But if his last performance was any indication, the ceiling is championship for this young contender. Tagged him with that uppercut. Oh, nice elbow. Edge of your seat action as expected so far. show of different techniques and ability to throw in combination. Oh, looks like that submission's almost locked in. Starting to get pretty deep here. Somehow he gets out. We had the triangle choke locked in, but he did a good job of staying patient, maintaining his calmness, and found a way out. Great job defensively. Oh, more attack. Yup. Oh, that Kimura looks tight. There's the top! Absolutely remarkable what this fighter was able to accomplish here tonight. As you can see, the years of repetitions in the gym to set it up and ultimately get the tap there. Great technique to set up the finish. All right, let's take a look back at the replay as he gets it done by submission tonight, champ. Just watch how slowly he approaches the submission, though. He never rushes. He takes his time, but it's his trickiness. It's his ability to trick people into going to the floor with him that puts them in danger and finish it. Every time you pass us, he resets. Every time you dodge. Every dodge? That's my main mobility option. Every time you breathe. Every time you breathe? Every time Jack sees him attack. Actually, that happens more frequently than me breathing, so that, that one might not be that fast. Every time the being of a mortal crumbles to dust and disappears in my eyes. What? Let's stick to every time I get a coin. Chad's desire to say demon deck is. Sorry, you. I can get the Wi Fi. No one can. We got rid of cable internet. Nope. Right. They don't care. Too strong. We don't need a hat to check these. Give a new hat to chat. Oh, I love that one. New hat. New hat. We're just going to do it with that one. No Paul Eden. All right. I got to beat the boss. Give 30 seconds to do so. Go. We're currently live. As long as you guys do not say beam attack. Fine. Beam Fortress 2. Beam Fortress 2. They didn't say beam attack. We're on. We're clear. Get to the final area. Please, Kirby. Beam yes. attack. No. Beam attack. No, two hats. You have to give chat two hats. No. First things first, we have to eat pasta. Okay, pasta, pasta done. Oh, God, it's overflowed a bit. Let me get a bowl. I can't believe this. I mean, it's worth it. So I got, I got some seasoning. Four in a bowl. I didn't think it's really good. Oh, I'm not going to lie. Okay, I think I might have broken my, my utensils. Hold on. Everyone 
No more Kirby, only yeah. pasta. Yeah. Where are the penne? You can't even see some of the pasta. I have the green screen effect on right now. Boy, yes. I mean, it's, it's pasta. All caps beam effect. All right. Press the button. You cooked the pasta. The chain must continue. Oh, my God. He's You went to go past it. Parson. Parson. I just have like slowly right there. <laughs> there we go. Father, yeah. I am in pain. <laughs> it works perfectly. Pasta hat. Pasta hat. Do I not have any pasta downloaded? I do. I do have a noodle. Look at that thing. Yeah, you have a little bit of pasta coming out inside your head. Now we can make pasta all by ourselves. Exactly. <laughs> Every time we say beam attack. And now our tail of the tape for this. Oh, we got here. Um, like a bolt from here? Damn it, I think I just got press A again. Beam attack. And I'm way fun. So before we get a new idea. Alright, now to get us started, we go inside the octagon where we find Bruce Buck. You ready to fight? Ready. So on the strength of a big win by submission his last time out, we'll see if this young man can keep it going here tonight. Round one is underway. Dominant performances last time out to extend the winning streak and to set up this massive, massive opportunity tonight. We'll see if he can take advantage. Big shots being landed on both sides here. Now some uppercuts. He better move, John. He cannot take these uppercuts from this position. Great commitment to the kicking game. Well, that's how you do it. He knew what he wanted, and he gets the takedown early round one. Change of the position. He's gotta be careful here. Quick hip movement there, and he does indeed get back to his feet. Nicely done. Shooting for the takedown here. Throwing that jab yet again out of range. I give one, I take one. You give one, you take one. That's how it's right. It's being played out. Double leg. Bad for the canvas as he lands another takedown there. He landed another takedown and he's doing it over and over again. What I am a massive fan of is his cardio, the ability to be able to keep this pace over and over as he hits these takedown attempts. This is a terrible position. Massive elbow lands from the top position. Submission now, or so it appears. He's looking to finish, John. Oh, compromising spot here. Triangle choke he is locked in. Position. Oh, looks like he's safe now. Wow, that's crazy, because generally when you're that deep into a triangle, you do not escape, but he remained calm, and he found a way to get out and be safe again. Great job defensively. Posture's up now. That's a vicious head strike. How'd he take it? It's the elbow there. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. He's doing a really good job putting himself in position. Posture's up now and lands the vicious head strike. Oh, beautiful jab by him there, really taking advantage of what is an obvious edge and reach. Oh, the head kick. Under 20 seconds now to go. And again, shoots for a takedown. Again, takedown stuck. Nice combination on the feet, and now works it to a takedown. That horn sounds means we have reached the end of round one. Come on, now. Let's shake it out. Let's get back to the game. Oh, look at the live chat. Woo! Hey, the live chat. Very flat. Now. We're both cut off at 
the head. Like father, like son, I suppose. All right, so there's the end of the round. A lot of high-level action, and if you like the takedown game, as my boy Daniel Cormier does, you enjoyed that round. Ready. It's like we're watching the Ready. NCAA oh, wrestling good. tournament. It's takedown after takedown. He's fighting his fight. He's able to change levels, drive into his opponent. It's a clear takedown after takedown. Nice jab. Oh, punches in bunches as he lands another combination there. Really doing a nice job stringing the shots together. He's doing a great job of stringing the shots together and also just mixing up the target and the attack. Great job finding different places for his strikes to land. Now he's got good body position, yo. You have a big problem. See, your browser is just like a bedrock suit. Okay, it works, but this will get boring. Like, fight. Attempting an arm bar here. There is tight. Oh, how about that? He gives up. Libby takes a step. Every time Dan loses a brain cell. Every at, 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 too frequent. Every too frequent. <laughs> Every time Beam Attack is said, you have to save Beam Attack. Every time Beam Attack is said, you have to save Beam Attack. That was every time Chad says Beam Attack, I just say Beam Attack. Wait, this is the what is the every? I haven't decided what the happens is yet. The idea is mildly understandable. Yeah, it's getting harder and harder by the second. I have to say Beam Attack and the other. They're pretty tight to me. I know you've got a huge appreciation for this. Oh, I mean, this is, this is high level grappling by both of these guys. <laughs> Great job landing from the top position. There is not a good option amongst these. That's a lot of chef hats. Okay, so every time you audibly say beam attack, I must give you a hat and also buy a hat for myself. Okay, he resumes. I, I, okay, I have to press it. I have to press it. I have to press it. Beam attack. Do I have to press it again? No, that's so much boss to be made. There's too many presses. I gotta get as far as I can. Are working on the ground here. His opponent's feet on the hips. Three minutes now to go in round two. And there you go again. Half guard. Oh, constantly a moving target. Oh, he did a great job of reversing the position, using the opening that his opponent gave him to shut him off and get back up. All right, watch out for the setup here, DC. I know you don't pay your bets, but I'll bet you hundred bucks he goes for another ticket. A little hard to explain. The idea is simple. If I don't pay, then why are you betting me? I'll yell at the octagon and go, man, don't shoot so that I can get paid. But if I bet, I'm trying to take the over. I believe that he's going to get another takedown, so I would try to force you into saying that he does do it again or something. I don't know. I'm not the gamble guy. You're the gamble guy. You can twist me up with your words. Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find its home. He is cut above the eye here. Oh, and there's the double leg takedown, DC. That is just too good, too easy. Too good, too easy. The timing was just too good. Before he could even defend, he's already off his feet going backwards. It's hard to run backwards, and that's what happens when this guy hits the double leg. Oh, good movement to avoid that strike from the top. Oh, he got to his spot. Thirty seconds to go in round two. Twenty seconds to go round two. Oh, that's how you do it. Postures up and lands to the head. Round three next. All right, so the round is over, but not before he got that cut on his forehead. We'll see if that becomes a factor. All right, this back fight to the stools so far rounds. That gives us time to look back at some 20, of the replays, including... 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, Some of those strikes that caused the damage, particularly to his forehead. Damage to the forehead. Expect a lot of blood. Because every time we have to restand and bang for a few moments, again down, and just hang on. Oh, 
shot to the body connects there. He hasn't really thrown too many body strikes in this fight, it's but now, as this fight goes on, and he is not discriminating, worked in the body, and those shots are gonna count. Oh, that one landed, yep. Oh, nice. Takedown defense holds up. Well, he's been good tonight, but he missed with that. All right, now touches him with that left hand. Push kick there to the body. Beautiful defensive skills on display. There's another power take down there. Continuing to stay busy here on the ground. Great shot from the top position. Under three minutes to go in our third round. Oh, big, big shots here. between two phenomenal grapplers. He's got to either go south or he has to actually just try to throw the whole kitchen sink at him. Like, if he does throw a body, he can catch it. He's the fight behind that jab. All right, again, he shoots for a takedown here and unable to get it, so the takedown defense reigns supreme yet again. The takedown defense is holding up. Lands a double leg takedown. See him put himself into the half guard. Likes the control, yep. Now he's going full mount. And he's trying to get to a half guard at least. At minimum. Try to go to half guard. Oh, and he lands a brutal strike to the head. I love the fact you even hear the ref guard fight back. Stick with the random because Man, he's, great the ref job even knows finding that a you've been down there. Fight. Get back to your you gotta fight back now. All right, well, that blow is fauceting from that cut with each strike landed. It continues to effectively target that area. You know, we are talking about a guy with super high fight IQ. So when you give him that blood, that crimson red, is nothing more than something that inspires him I'm to continue you doing what he's doing. The ground so game, you have got to change something. You got to get your no, head you moving so you're not taking too much damage to that cut. On the ground. I got him down enough times and just stay down there and just kept being active. The official decision is in it resides with Bruce Buffett. We stand Ladies and up. gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. The judges scored the contest 29 28, 30 27, 29 28. Declared the winner by unanimous decision, Assassin! Yeah. I give that 30 27 more. But 29 28 is also reasonable. Ten nine, ten nine, ten nine. I felt like that first round could have been a I outstruck him. I out wrestled him. How? Same in the second. The third he outstruck me. <coughs> How did he win even one round? He was out wrestled by a lot, outstruck by a lot, and only barely outstruck me that last round when I was exhausted, trying to just beat the shit out of him. It was way really too hard to get him down, so I gotta work on my takedowns.
Bell Costa. Sure. Here's your hat! Oh, it does cover Waddle Dude. You're, you're right. Okay, hold on one second. Let me. The hat tower is gonna get a lot taller. There we go. So now it looks like the Waddle Dude is wearing the fedora. There we go. How's that? How's that for a stack? Give us more hats. No, no. Next, I have to buy some hats. Here we go, guys. What chef hat do we want to get? Embroider your text. What should the chef hat say, chat? Beam attack. Oh, God. Bean attack or you? Bean attack? <laughs> Yeah, 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 let's go with, let's go with bean attack. Add that one to the cart. Next! I like my racks big, my butt rub, my pork fold. I don't think I'm going to be purchasing this hat, chat. Nope, we're leaving that one on the stove. Uh, to let it burn for as long as possible. Yes, chef, dad hat. Perfect, and add the cart! I think that is now everything in the stack. And then I press A. No, I press... The Wells Fargo Active Cash Card. Earn 2% cash back on what you want, like catching the latest foreign film. And need, like new glasses. I need to find the best way to learn math and science. <sighs> it's brilliant.org. I say twice! I have to make more pasta! Pasta time, father. No! Double the rest. Chat cremated and my stomach inflated. We continue on. All I have to do to beat this is just kill this turtle in the next 30 seconds. Go! Okay, here we go. Here we go, baby. I just gotta be right to the point. Beam attack. Beam attack! There we go. Therapist being called. Uh, hello, who's this? This is your client for the day. Oh, Currently. Uh, well, I, I, I have some bad news, Dan. Um, yeah, what's up? I recently, I recently had my counseling professional counseling. Oh, I'm at the 30 second mark. Yeah, oh, no, what's up? Telling you that I had my counseling license. Uh, revoked, so I won't be able to take any calls anymore. Um, but I can refer you to some people. Yeah, yeah. Do you have any anyone that that would be like a good reference that I can I can call up instead? Uh, yeah. I mean, I think a, a good person that you might be able to call. I know a couple of people. One of them goes by the name of. Jay. Jay. Hi, Jay. I think I've been. Damn. I think I've been dumped. <laughs> Damn! He was dumped by his news. <laughs> Give me the every. Every second. I think every second is a fine condition at this point, considering how we're almost at the end. Take a shot every second. Take a shot? <laughs> I'll get into legitimate trouble if I drink alcohol. I have pasta. Every second I take a pasta shot. Okay, 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 hold on. Now you guys get one new hat. We're so close to the end. We're so close to the end. Beam attack. That doesn't help me. Give us the failboat hat. Hold on. Let me let me go dig up a captain's hat. How do I not have a failboat cap? Oh, there we go. <laughs> it's beautiful. It has a hole in it. Just like the real one. You look beautiful, chat. You look beautiful. I've had enough of this. Buy another chef's hat. Do I just buy a second one of these? I guess why not? What should the chef hat say? Cheese slice. I think we can put, come up with something better than that. Cheese slice cool. Oh, cheese slice cool! They could say the idea is simple. That's so cruel. After all of this, the idea is simple. Feels like such a slap in the face. And so that's what I'm going with. I think we're just back to play Kirby now. The pasta! I'm gonna go get my shot glass. Hey there, old buddy. <laughs> You'll never believe what I'm drinking out of you this time. My SS drunk shot glass. This is it, everybody. I'll enjoy every last drop of that suffering. And then when I'm done, I'll ask for more. All I have to do now is touch that goalpost. Three, two, one, go! Oh. It's painful. Oh my god, that went down. It's awful. And in the end, I can finally say, the idea is not simple. I must beat the first world of Kirby. But every time I press the A button, I have to make pasta. Also, every time I make pasta, I have to press the A button. Alright, now also, our tale of the thing for this phantom weight scrap. The veteran voice of the octagon, Bruce Buffer.
Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC. Oh, no free submission. I'm gonna go crazy for nothing. He's, he's done absolutely nothing. He doesn't deserve this. He's given everything. Guys, what are we? Break it up! Break it up, beast! Oh my god, break it up! Break it up! And I've not figured out what to do with the, with the beast. I don't feel like. Uh, go to sleep! Oh, I'm not sure what I just did. A little concerned. Oh, we can change our carpet! Uh, maze carpet. Yeah, I want to get a swing in front of the ears. Don't give two fucking shits. Hey, beast. You've been a little too beastly lately, I would say. Now, here's your favorite food to get it. You're going to need to do something that's right. Dream of it. You're going to need to do something you've never done before. You're going to need to navigate it. There you go. Bert, Bert, just uh, fucking play with your shit, man. Just happy being Bert. You, that, you genuinely have 50 times the size of your head, Bert. Can I just say how impressive that is? I literally have to feed you for a straw. You've been born, Bert. It's so wrong that you're real. Proto, oh, we got a new, we got a new dog. Stored dogs. We have this little thing. Hi, little guy. Um, you look like you're kind of upset that you were born. What's going on? Hey, Bert. There's, there's poop over here, Bert. There's, what, what is this still doing here, Bert? Can you tell me what that's doing there? That's right, Bert. That's right. That's right. That's right, Bert. Yeah. You're doing, oh, you're ready to evolve now, Bert. Yes! To the lonesome dung eater. Bert, what will become of you? You got bigger. Yes! And he said he got smart. Yes! Straight into the nether, boys. Bert, look! Some yummy dirt for you. Mmm! I love you, Bert. I, there's just something about your face. It makes me feel like you should be eating dirt, man. I'm just trying to reinforce positive behavior. That's all I'm saying. I wonder if I can just keep making them uh, dig holes. You know, go grab some meat. Oh, Hey, what's up, guys? I'm not Queso. I'm here to eat a light snack, that a thing that Queso calls light snack, so an entire pizza. <laughs> I have four slices of this pizza left. I think I had six slices. Oh, shit, I'm not even live. I don't know when the stream ended. 